Hello, this is Nick Finity again from nickfinity.com. I've been trying to figure out different things I could do with my DS still new. Haven't had a clue. Just looking around for stuff, couldn't find anything. But today I got a comment posted on one of my videos on YouTube already by Easy Comp campaign and he or she writes in great vid I just bought a new DS and waiting for my cycle of DS to arrive this week can you provide another video describing how to run emulators for NES and SNES on this and it's actually a really simple to do I just looked it up I got it up and working in a minute so I just went on Google basically I typed in NES emulator for DS and this website that came up right away it's called racketboy.com and it has a nice article t talking about how to do install and use it I'll put this link in the video description or if you're viewing this from my website just look below the video and you'll see it the links and information so he just goes talking about which one are the best ones how to do installation he gives a little video tour is the best features high compatibility full speed for most games rewind feature with the R trigger fast mode with left trigger and uh, save states download and if you try to click on the official NESDS site, it gives an object not found error. So luckily, luckily he provides a download mirror from Racket Boy. So I'm just going to click on that. And a box is going to come up saying, are you sure you want to download? Click OK. And for me, it's saved right to my desktop. It's going to be saved as... NES dot or NES DS dot NDS. So now you want to make a folder to put your ROMs in and this file. So you can see right there, I just made NES ROMs folder. I'm going to drag this file into that folder, just like that. Now for the ROMs, again, this link I'll post in the video description or on my website under this video the best site I found to download NES ROMs is called the old, old computer com and I was just looking see which ones I could remember that I liked when I had the NES here so I'm, I, I, pop, most popular one of all time it's gotta be Super Mario Brothers 3 so let's install that or download it and see it's right there. As you can see, all these are dot zips. So you're going to need a way to unzip up these. Are you sure you want to save? Yes, I do. All right. I'm going to go back to my desktop. And as you can see, there's a zipped file called Super Mario Bros. 3. I'm going to double click on that. And it's going to extract this for me. Open up that folder. And as you can see, it says smb3.nes. Instead of the too many letters, I'm just going to change the name of this real quick. And uh, Windows, right click, then go down to rename. Mac, you just highlight it and hit Command I. So I'm just going to name this Super Mario VROS. Do not put a dot afterwards because it will mess it up. It won't work. So I just type in Super Mario Bros 3.NES. I'm going to save that. As you can see from right there. Now I'm going to take this file over to the NES ROMs folder that I made earlier. Just going to drag it in there, and it'll be in there. So now, 
a Super Mario, Super Mario Brothers folder. You can just delete that since there's nothing in there. And I'm going to delete the zip drive or yeah, zip file since I don't need more. Now what you're going to do is take your flash card for an Nintendo DS. Again, I'm using the Cyclo DS Evolution. It's my preferred card to use. It's going to pop out the micro SD. Put in your USB adapter. Plug in your computer. And as you can see, it's going to pop up as an external drive. I'm going to double click on it. Now, you're going to take your NES ROMs folder that you created on the desktop before and drag and drop it into the root folder for your Cyclo DS or flash card, whatever you're using. Just going to drag it over, make sure it's in the root. I already uh, named a folder NES ROMs because I already had it on here, but I reinstalled it on this video, show you step by step instructions what to do. So I'm just going to hit replace. It's done. It's all on there. You can see. NES ROMs. As you can see, I downloaded another game, Paperboy. So, all the files are in there. I'm going to eject your thumb drive, micro SD. And take it out. Pop this back into your flash card, in my case, Cyclo DS. I'm going to put that in your Nintendo DS. I'm going to move the camera over here so you have a better view of the DS when I'm showing you what to do. Alright, so. Alright, so I'm just going to go in the main screen here. You can see for the game it says Cyclo DS Evolution. I'm just going to tap that. Loads pretty quickly. I'm going to press the first option. And as you can see, I have a list of different files and stuff. I'm going to go over and find NES ROMs. And select that. And you're going to select this NES DS icon. That's the actual program. It's going to launch you into a menu. It's just another menu of everything that's on your um, micro DS or micro SD card. So I'm just going to tap on NES ROMs. Okay, never mind. You're going to have to scroll down to it. You're going to tap A. Then it's going to have all your games in here. I don't know why there's duplicates. I'm going to have to check that out as to why, but go down to Super Mario Bros. 3. Here it is. Just like on your old NES, but in a portable way. Use the D-pad to move around. Use A and B. That's about it. So that's the conclusion of how to install NES games on your Nintendo DS. This is Nickfinity from nickfinity.com and thank you for watching this video and if you have ne if you have time check out my other videos or go to my website nickfinity.com thank you very much